It's hard to believe at one time women did not have the vote. Today, Essential Collective Theater's play, The Fighting Days, is about the suffragettes who changed that. My name is Nellie McClung, and I'm a disturber. Disturbers are never popular. Nobody likes an alarm clock in action, no matter how grateful they are later for its services. I've known about this play for many years. I saw it first in Winnipeg, where it premiered, and that's where I grew up. So it's a story that I've, I've loved for a long time, and it's never been produced in southern Ontario, so I wanted to do it here, and I wanted to do it now because it's 100 years since the first women in Canada got the right to vote. Uh, they, the first women were in Manitoba in 1916, so it felt like the right time to do the show. And how are you feeling now that it's about to open? Oh, I'm very pleased. The cast is phenomenal. And this play, although it's about a very specific time in history, in Canadian history, it feels very contemporary and it's a lot of fun and it's humorous. And uh, a lot of the issues seem very contemporary, very relevant, especially as we're going into this election in the States and perhaps the first woman president. Uh, it seems like a timely play in that respect too. Popular Shaw actress Jenny Wright plays Nellie McClung, who was a major influence for Canadian women. Nellie McClung was a, a real force, and she, she was a prairie woman, and a small town prairie woman, and she spent a lot of time going out into very small communities and connecting with the prairie working folk. And I think uh, people could connect to her. Some called her an upper class snob. She was well-to-do compared to a lot of prairie folks at the time, but um, she was able to connect with the common people of the land, and she was the voice for women. But I think it's an important thing to consider that only a hundred years ago we got the vote. That's not a long time. That's a few generations. Darren Key plays journalist George McNair. It's always interesting to hear a woman speak in public. It's sort of like seeing a pony walking on its hind legs. Clever, if not natural. George McNair, uh, the editor of the Rural, Rural Review, the man I'm playing, uh, I would definitely look at as a bit of a traditionalist. I hope this time you'll manage to spell my name correctly. There are two C's. It's McClung, not McLung. Oh, what a pity. I thought that was a rather good play on words. They have the right to have their opinion of him. Uh, he doesn't look at himself as anything wrong or evil or, or mean to women, but we can look at it and go, oh boy, you have a lot to learn. And in a hundred years, we've uh, still have a lot to learn, but progress has been made. Now, you are hoping to educate with this play. Let's talk about that. Well, I think a lot of people don't really know that Canada was in fact the first country to get the vote for women before Britain, before the U.S. So that's something that we need to highlight for people and, and uh, make them aware of. But also, I think uh, Frances Bainan, who is the sort of central character in this piece, was a journalist uh, working in Manitoba and, and a prolific writer. And we don't really remember her. We rem remember Nellie McClung, but not Frances so much. So I think it's important to, to know about those people. You are taking this elsewhere. Let's talk about the touring. Thank you, yes, we are taking this show on the road. So we had some funding from the Niagara region through their Niagara Investment and Culture Program and through the Trillium Foundation. We're very excited to be able to take this show to seven other locations. So it plays in St. Catharines first and then it goes to Welland, Port Coburn, Vineland, Pelham. This is a new thing for, for ECT, for our company to do this, but we're really excited to bring this show to a wider audience and to community where live theater, professional theater, isn't always available. The Fighting Days is a celebration of the 100th anniversary of a woman's right to vote. It opens here at the First Ontario Performing Arts Centre on October 27th and runs until November 4th. It will then tour across the Niagara region. In St. Catharines, I'm Brenda Schultz reporting for The Source.